Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and share some thoughts with you. I wanted to let you know that we feel things went particularly well this past Sunday. First, I'm grateful for God to any quote-unquote success we had. Second, I'm thankful to Brianna and Larry in particular and others who helped pull it off. And third, I'm very appreciative to you, the congregation, for setting aside time and following through with watching. Without you, all the other work would have meant very little. We are striving hard to make it even better for the next couple of Sundays. As I suspect, we will extend our digital services only to continue to at least April the 5th, following suit with the public school system over the last couple of days. Personally speaking, I truly felt a sense of connection with the church body, just knowing we were participating in the services together as I saw people posting and responding in comment time live with each other. I want to encourage you to continue doing that. We will continue to monitor the situation and let you know as soon as possible about the Tenebrae and Easter services. I'd like to share a quick devotional thought. First, read Psalm 42 and 43. Read them together, without stopping, as one unit. They are joined by an interesting refrain that I think asks an important question. Verse 11 of Psalm 42. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God. For I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. The psalmist asks us a good question. Why is my soul downcast? Is it because the world and the media say it should be? Because politicians can't get along and quote unquote save us? Because my financial security and retirement have tanked? Because I'm socially cut off from life-giving relationships with others? Is it downcast because my life of wants has been disrupted or because things have changed and we long for how it used to be. So many things that can get in the way of our relationship with the Lord. When the best life comes simply by wanting Him more than anything. As verses 1 and 2 say in Psalm 42, As the deer pants for the flowing stream, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. My prayer for myself and for you is that in these days when all else is in question in our lives is that we will hunger more and more for a relationship with the God, the true living God, and we find satisfaction in Him that surpasses all else. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.